Edmonton's troublesome Valley Line Southeast LRT has once again gone off the rail. The project has been faced with another setback. After TransEd, the company responsible for the LRT found cables that require replacing in their most recent round of testing. This LRT project should have been in service in 2020. Here we are in 2023, and that's absolutely unacceptable. The mayor deeply frustrated, learning Monday of another issue. TransEd did not provide details on the specific problems with the cables, but say train testing will continue while the cables are installed, saying, quote, replacing the cables now rather than during the operational phase will allow TransEd to operate Valley Line Southeast with more reliability once the line opens, while also reducing future operational impacts. I don't know why, you know, a, a set of brand new cables all of a sudden has a, has a problem with it. Uh, there's ways to test cables before you test the entire system, you know, as an entire system. Not sure why that was done or was not done or if it was done and if it failed. TransEd not answering City News' questions regarding the cable's lifespan or future opening date by broadcast deadline. Councillor Tim Cartmel says council has been left out of the loop just as much as Edmontonians. We don't talk directly with TransEd. TransEd talks through administration. So I have the same questions you do. It's hard to get answers on those questions. The $1.8 billion project is what's called Public-Private Partnership, or P3. Mayor Sohi saying that's a big reason he feels there's a lack of accountability in the delays. The line to connect Mill Woods to downtown was supposed to open in December 2020, hit with construction delays during COVID, and more recently, testing stopped to fix a large number of cracked piers. TransEd says other than the cables, recent testing of the line has gone as expected. The latest hiccup means it is unclear when this LRT is on track to open. TransEd is responsible for any additional costs of this project, meaning the City of Edmonton will not pay more. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.